Well, I have all of my land masses painted, and you can see on my layer here uh, that I've erased through to make this part of the tall one here look like it's going behind my natural bridge here. Um, but when I got done, look at this color here. This looks like it's in the foreground, like it's closer to me. But as I come across, I get a little confused because these are almost the same color, same value. So I'm going to go in and uh, change the opacity of the layer that has this natural bridge on here. I'm going to bring it up a little bit so it looks like it's more in the foreground. And if I still can't get it there, remember I can always take my dodge tool, or my, my dodge tool for sure, and I can brighten this up a little bit, or I can do Command U and bring up the saturation a little bit so it's a little bit brighter, and that brings it closer to me as well. I kind of like those colors going on in there. I think I'll leave that alone. I leave it as is, anyway. Now, what I'm also concerned about is we're talking about diminution. So diminution says that as things go back in space, they look like they're getting smaller. You can see that happening. As things go back in space, they change in value. So I have these bright colors up here, and they turn into blue or darker blue as they go back. But there should also be a diminution or dimming of texture. Okay, so I'm going to come back to that. I got my overlap. I want to make sure I have some overlap, right? And I've used three land masses to give me some deep space. But let's talk about that texture diminution. I want to see some texture here, but my land masses, they go back in space. How can I apply a filter to give them texture and have it look like it's going back in space? Well, here's the trick. If you take a selection tool, and I'm just going to use a big, giant oval. Let me make that even bigger. So I'm going to blend out my texture. Now, if I apply the filter to give this some texture, it's going to stop right here with a hard edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do, excuse me, select modify feather. And I've already tried this out, so I have my feather set at 200. So I'll get a nice blend between the textures. Say OK. And I picked out a grain texture. You'll have to go in and find the one that you want to work with. Oh, wait a minute. I put it on that layer. Evil, evil, undo. I want to be on this layer. Let me do that again. Remember, wherever layer you're on, that's where the selection tool is. Um, so I'm going to do my grain. And look, when I deselect, because I feathered the edge of the selection, it gets over here where it's going underneath the bridge, and it just fades away into the background. So nice, clear texture here. But as it goes under the bridge, it's going further back in space, it dims. And I want to play around with this one here too because I, it's also going back in space. So let me do that one more time. I make my selection of the stuff that's closest to me. I go up here to select and I do modify feather. Play around with the numbers till you get what you want. 200 might not work for you. I've already tested it out for me. Say OK. And then whatever filter you've already tried out, here's my grain. Oh, once again, I'm on the wall. Let's go to this layer. Okay, that makes a big difference. Grain. And look at that. Look how that looks like it's closer to me. And as it goes back, I lose or the texture diminishes. Heck of cool. Try it out on your own painting. Bye-bye.